Bing 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 bong! Bing 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 bong! Bing bing bing! Welcome to Saw the Game. Well, if you've already seen it, why are you here? The game opens to a POV shot as a person is wheeled into a dim hallway in a wheelchair. Hey, listen, listen, this is a horror game. This is super spooky. Let's actually get into the mood for once, right? Now, the person who is tied to a chair awakens in front of a television. The person, a man, is revealed to have the reverse bear trap device on his head as he struggles to free himself from the chair. It's from the movie. The TV turns on, revealing Jigsaw, who calls the man Detective David Tapp. Oh, I'm Detective Tapp. I want to play a game. They're a bit indirect with it, so we'll be the saw. Ah, uh, Detective Tapp. You have become obsessed with Jigsaw. That obsession led you to causing me to kill your partner, Detective Singh, with shotguns in the first movie. Is this a dude from the movie? Yeah. That's Danny Glover. Yeah. Why is he 20 years younger? Now I have trapped you in one of my traps. Look, the bear trap. It sits upon your head and face. And there is a timer on it. Well, when the timer goes off, it will do this. And you will die. Ah, 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 ah. You will have to solve the puzzle. You have to catch me. Catch me, Detective Tap. <laughs> catch me. No, no, this is supposed to be scary. Detective Tap goes, oh, oh. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. We're solving the puzzle. Do -do. Wait, what, what are we solving here? What's the puzzle? It's like... Press X? Yeah. Because Detective Tap is so in touch with the Jigsaw case, he knows how to deconstruct a reverse bear trap with his hand. He throws the bear trap off his face and onto the floor. Detective Tap is very scared. He just evaded death. And he says he doesn't want to play the game anymore. I won't play your game. I won't! I don't want to play Jigsaw! I don't want it! Detective Tap realizes that he is trapped in the bathroom. He needs to find a way out. Looks like it's Jigsaw's trap time. So he starts looking around and he sees some numbers on the door. When you line them up with the mirror, four, three, seven, that must be the code to get out. And look, a padlock over there, three digits, you yeah, get it. So he gets out the door. He is in a very large labyrinthine building. So he starts wandering the halls, trying to find any sort of exit, looking for threats and traps along the way. Suddenly, he hears someone call out for help in the distance. He sees the open door and he rushes straight in. But then the door locks behind him. He has wandered out of one bathroom and into another bathroom. He has fallen into another bathroom style trap which means that it's lunch trap time say trap time <gasps> uh oh there's a very large glory hole in this bathroom <laughs> and there is a man on the other side waiting to receive <laughs> suddenly the bathroom television turns on ah detective glover well done for finding my second trap it is also a bathroom here you see before you, a toilet filled with used and dirty needles. I dropped my keys in there. If you want to get out of the room, you have to fish my keys out. You'll have to save not only yourself, but this guy as well. Also, there is a bomb in the room with a countdown timer. If you are not quick enough, the bomb will go off. <laughs> Suddenly a timer comes up and it says 1 minute 30. So, Tap begins to search through the toilets and he's getting stabbed by all the needles. Aren't all the traps meant to be like poetic justice? Like what has used needles got to do with him being obsessed with Jigsaw? Oh, that's simple. His search for Jigsaw is like an addiction. Wow, this is just like an allegory for my life. So he gets the key and he unlocks the door and then they get out. And that is when it becomes Edda time. It's me, Big Saw, the world's spookiest Halloween serial killer. I lurk in the shadows of cyberspace, 
Ooh. A fly has fallen into my ointment. An internet user has connected by public Wi-Fi. Let us engage in a game. Dun, dun, dun. Steve, I have your IP address. W wait, who are you? Now I am bombarding you with targeted ads. Ha 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 ha. Erectile dysfunction pills, hot milfs and singles in your area. Do never appreciate it, Nord VPN when you could have had it. No! Ah, uh, look, another caterpillar has slithered into my pickle jar. Let's play a game of more expensive plane tickets. That's right, websites like Skyscanner track your cookies and know if you're shopping around for the cheapest flights, and then they adjust them, adjust them up. Oh man, oh god. You never appreciated NordVPN, which if you were shopping a lot, even taking the cost of the subscription into account probably would have saved you money. Bing, bing, bong, bing, 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 bong. Yeah. Ha ah, ha ha, this one is watching Netflix, but he doesn't know that the Friends catalog had expired many months ago in his particular country. Yes, little squirrel, you have walked right under a cardboard box with a stick attached. Region locked! Ha ah, ha ha ha, enjoy this terrible monologue instead from Midnight Mass. Printed on the tissue of my dying brain. Look at and it! I am the lightning that jumps between I am the... It's not too late. Go to nordvpn.com slash story mode to get a huge deal on a two-year plan, plus four bonus months. Before I make you watch more of this... Energy firing the neurons and... I'm returning. Well, you know, uh, kill your family. All right, right back to it. The man that Detective Tap just saved says, Well, Detective Tap, you have saved me, but your next challenge lays straight ahead. You see, you are not wearing any shoes, and there is glass all over the floor. Your feet are going to get badly cut up if you walk across it. Da da dun, da 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 dun. Ah, track time. With nothing to gain, but everything to lose, Tap crosses the glass by just walking around it. Oh, that's a terrible trap. Jigsaw says, what are you doing? <laughs> Damn it! What was the poetic justice with glass on floor, no shoes? No, let me, let me try and predict it. You were always looking through the looking glass, but it was a broken visage of a, just a reflection my, on the floor. Okay, my guess is, mm. you never appreciated your shoes. <laughs> Tap heads through a doorway into an operating theatre. And the door locks as well. He's trapped in another trap, one of Saw's traps. Do you think this might happen quite a lot throughout the game? No! Now, Tap finds another body, and beside it is a tape recorder. On the tape, Jigsaw says, Ah, oh, Tap, there is a person in this operating theatre rigged up to a trap. And why is this person here? Well, they have been personally affected by your obsession with Jigsaw, me. And if you want to save them, you're gonna have to find a key. Anyway, you don't have the key yet, so you have to come back on a later level. All right, so Detective Tap moves forward and he walks into another door that has a big puzzle piece on it, so it's clearly trap time. But he looks around the room, there's no one in there, and suddenly a character spawns in. It's the guy from before whose life he saved from the explosives, remember? What are you doing? Sorry, buddy, this is part of my game. Nothing personal. I'd grab something quick though if I was you. And then all of a sudden a door opens and it's a different man's task to kill Detective Tap. I shall do the fighting, he says, and they do fight. Detective Tap wins. Okay, back to the man from earlier. He says... No! You said you'd free me if I brought him here. My game is over. So whenever Jigsaw does the laugh, that means you've lost and you're going to die now. Why is he doing the you've lost laugh? Didn't he do what he was meant to do? You were always too good at following instructions. Do you know what? I'm leaving. So he leaves out the door. Slowly and methodically. His hand doesn't even touch the doorknob. And then... I'll always miss him. What was his name? I don't think he had a name. Ooh, have you been enjoying the very spooky Halloween episode of Story Mode? Well, Mr. Branson, 
please do a recap of what the fuck is going on. I'm so confused. All right, so at this point, Detective Tap has been taken in by Jigsaw. Once Detective Tap escapes from his reverse bear trap, he then proceeds to escape from even more traps. Now he has to save the mysterious person in the operating theater. Why would he care? Because he's obsessed with Jigsaw. Oh, his obsession. Back to the game. Now, Detective Tap wanders into a room that's filled with x-rays and charts, and they paint a story. Yesterday, Detective Tap, before you were brought here to Sawland, you were shot in the street by some dude. You were bleeding out, dying, and you said you wished you'd appreciated life more. That was the thing you said at the time I quoted it. So I scooped you up in my arms and I brought you here. Then, I saved your life. You're welcome, you don't have to thank me, but it'd be, it'd be nice if you did. But nothing is free, Mr. Detective. In place of the bullet, I inserted a sneaky key. And here is the poetic twist. That key is the exit to Sawland, and everyone knows about it, hence, Every person you encounter in this building wants you dead. Da -da -da. Da oh yeah, I forgot that. Oh, happened. the chest key, yeah. Moving on. So Tap continues looking around, and then he finds another door with the words, The key to survival lies within. Tap then starts doing some busy work. There's a problem with some fuses. He fixes the fuse. He breaks through a wall. Da -da 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 -da. And then he enters a puzzle room. You wouldn't believe it. Trap time! Tap sees that there are four bodies laying on four tables. Each body is filled to the brim with razor wire. Jigsaw suddenly pipes up and goes, Look, Listen, there's a key in one of these four bodies and you'll have to find out which body it is in order to continue. Here's a knife. Anyway, so he finds the key. <laughs> but then suddenly, because he has found the key, a television turns on. Yet you did not learn the footage reveals that the person in the operating theater is Amanda Young, you know, from the movies. And Jigsaw is chastising her for not learning her lesson. Of course you could. You chose to let your addiction consume you again and again. Yada, yada, yada. Something about addiction you just never learn, do you? If you haven't seen the first movie, this will mean absolutely nothing to you, by the way. Tap goes, that's boring. What else is on the tally? He then sees that a door in the room has opened. So he heads through it and back into a main hallway. And then he uses a key and then he finds another man. The crazed man rushes Tap. Come on, you can make it, but immediately falls. <laughs> he falls into a pit in the center of the room. Now it's time for Tap's greatest puzzle of all, a plank. Oh my god, trap time. Devil Tap! <laughs> I bet Jigsaw didn't see him solving that one. God damn, he did it again! He then sees there is a message spelled out, and it says, Can you rescue her? And he thinks to himself, oh, maybe I can. Wait, who are we saving? Amanda, fr from the movie. Right, do we know that she's a bad guy yet? No, that happens in the third movie. So, Tap's wandering around, he's doing a thing, yeah, don't worry about that. Oh my god, a note. Patient medical file, name, blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> Now that's a cool name. Initial tests are just a very high IQ with an extraordinary ability to recall facts. Uh, he exhibits a need to point out the weaknesses in others, insists that the behavioural changes are that of his wife, who no longer understands him. Why is it written like, when you're like 14, what you wish your report card said? Yeah, he's got huge potential if he would just apply himself. <laughs> So, Tap does more fucking around. He's wandering around, he's wandering around, don't worry about that. So we get into a room and uh-oh, the door closed behind you and there's a jigsaw puzzle piece. That must mean... Wait, do you think jigsaw's behind all this? Transition to cutscene. The desk in front of you holds the badge of the partner you failed to protect. Sing. I'm, I'm so sorry. And the Oscar goes to... <laughs> he continues on and... He opens another door, which is also another trap. And he encounters trap time. A bomb is going to go off unless Detective Tap 
puts something in a wall to turn on TVs, which has the code to the door. Oh my god, can he do it? He does. I keep setting up these pins, but he just keeps knocking them down. He makes it through, and then he sees a key on a felt cloth, and then a man pig comes running through the door, and he knocks out Detective Tap. So, Detective wakes up in a room and he goes, Oh, are there more puzzles to solve? And there's so many televisions, he can't possibly watch them all at the same time. They all say, can you rescue her? Question mark. And he says, yes, I can, because I am obsessed with Jigsaw. So he goes through the door and then down some stairs and into another room. On top of a trash can is a television. And on that television is some footage. And let's play it now. I didn't touch anything. Not a thing. I know you didn't. I promise I won't do it anymore. The drugs, the c Crippling my arms in Fallout 3. None of it. I know you won't. I don't know what else I can say, what else I can give. Your life. Okay, says Tap, and then he continues walking on. Okay, here it is. This is big trap time. It's like a boss trap, right? They were just talking. Yeah. I mean, like, like, this, this is like the third or fourth contact at this point. Remember me? <laughs> no, Jack, Jack Shaw? I... Each of you will be injected with different poisons that will slowly break down your body. Ah, Amanda, you have a drug addiction. Poetically, I am going to inject you with all sorts of poisons, and Detective Tap will have to rescue you. How is that poetic? You are not the heroine of your own rescue. I don't get it. I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> I'll try it. All right, so basically, there's some poison or something, and you got to do it in the right order with the right something. Who cares? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Tap solves the puzzle. Amanda says that she knows what Jigsaw looks like. I saw him. I saw him. Now, up until this point, nobody has ever seen the mysterious Jigsaw's face. So Detective Tap's like, Who is he? What did he look like? That's all you care about? I just nearly died! What would what? you like me to ask? How are you feeling? Who gave you that bad haircut? I'm not telling you what he looks like. And then they walk into the next room, I hope she tells me later, and then Tap turns to Amanda and he goes, Hey Amanda, how come you're here if you already survived a trap? And Amanda says, Because I failed a test, Tap. <sighs> I used to do drugs, so Jigsaw put me in a trap and I survived. I stopped doing drugs for a while, but then they got delicious again, or, or however drugs work, and I got addicted. So Drugsaw put me in another trap, and you just saved me from that one. So here we are. Cap and Amanda then run into the basement, and then suddenly Jigsaw appears again. Jigsaw reveals that another player of the game, Jennings Foster, is here, <laughs> and he's an old friend of Taps from the Force. So Jennings is a bit of a crooked cop, and he killed someone in a hit and run and framed an innocent person. So now he's also in a trap. All right, well, whatever. He runs down to Jennings, yada, 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 yada. He gets down to a room and there's a bunch of TVs and Jigsaw is questioning Mr. Foster. Do you think the man you killed cried for help the same way as he lay dying in the street? How did you know about that? I never told anyone. How would he know about that? I don't know. He definitely wouldn't know about it anyway. So he puts that to the back of his mind and he goes running through a steel grated door. This one won't close on him, though. Ah! Oh, oh, fuck. I was certain. The door separates him and Amanda. Oh no, help, I am being taken away by the pig man, says Amanda. Do you see how uninvested he was in that? He's like, ah! Oh, oh, I know. Anyway, Amanda's dead or something. I'd better go catch Jigsaw, says Detective Tap. So he carries on. He runs up to a work table and he finds... nothing. But then he walks down three stairs and suddenly <gasps> there's a man and he's got that device on him that is used in Saw 3. So anyway, the guy's head gets blown off. Tap is terribly traumatized by it all. Back to Jigsaw, says Detective Tap. And he walks into the next room. Inside the room is a standing barrel and a television. Oh my god, it's trap time with barrels. So there's a barrel and it's filled with acid. So Detective Tap must reach his arm into the barrel to retrieve a key that's somehow floating in the middle of it. 
uh, Mr. Branson, what's the justification for a barrel of acid? What's the poetic justice involved? You see, the barrel represents his life, and the acid... Uh, actually, you know what? I'll just let Jigsaw explain it. The key, like your life, lies in the bottom of the barrel. Boo. So he plunges his hand into it instead of using a stick or a coat hanger or something? And he retrieves the key. Why did you stick your hand in it? You were meant to tip it over. The puzzle was to tip it over. Anyway, he solved that puzzle and he's got the key. Tap continues through the doorway as a man runs off in front of him. Ooh, pretty spooky. Tap heads down to a boiler room and there he finds. What, what do you think he's going to find? Ooh. I reckon he'll find the answer to all his questions and the the cure to his obsession. You're close. It was another trap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But first, though, we find a note. Even walking can be dangerous in Jigsaw's world. <laughs> what? Tap makes it to the boiler room and Jigsaw pops up again on the television. The steam from these pipes will kill you. Rah, you must find a way to redirect the steam, Detective Tap. You see, you've always been steaming mad that you've never been able to catch me. Tap realizes that he can turn off the steam if he had some sort of wheel that he could use to close the pipes and then he could walk through it. I bet that wheel is in the janitor's closet, says Detective Tap, so he starts heading in that direction, but uh oh, it turns into a cutscene, which means that someone is about to grab him. Correct. Suddenly, Tap wakes up from the bathroom floor and he sees a shotgun collar around his neck and he starts to panic. Oh, there's also a riddle on the wall. What does it say? What does it say? Darkness illuminates. Now, Detective Tap walks over to the corner of the room and he flicks off the light switch. In the darkness, he sees trap time. But instead of a fancy new trap, it's just the toilet thing again. The thing is, the first two times I saw this, I thought, oh, that's quite dumb. But the third time I saw it, I went, oh, that's quite spooky. Uh, all right, all right. So anyway, he's got the key now, so he leaves out the door and then he's running around. You know what? He's starting to feel pretty comfortable with the shot collar now. He, he can't really imagine life without it. Then he stumbles upon another puzzle. And this time it's one of those things that they keep at the dentist's office so that the kids are occupied while waiting in reception. And then he runs into another room, and on a white chalkboard, it says in felt tip, the wheel is nearby. That seems pretty spooky. <gasps> and look at that, he has found the wheel that he needed in order to turn off the steam. He puts it on this, you know, and then he turns the thing, and the steam turns off. And then Jigsaw shows up again, and he goes, you can now redirect the steam, congratulations. But the game is heating up, so hurry, or your game will be over. That was a pun. He did one. <gasps> Things are heating up. Anyway, he carries on through the pipes. It turns out he didn't turn off all of the steam. So there's some time-based puzzles. When will this plot advance? Tap wanders to himself aloud. He gets through the steam. Oh no, it's the upgrade to Pyramid Head. He's got one extra side. Cube Head. The trap is he must fight and kill the man who has a box on his head. So Detective Tap lures him past shotgun traps, and it does so little damage. But then look how much damage it does when he hits him with his hand. So he runs over to the table, and there are a couple of televisions there. Jigsaw comes onto the television. Have you learnt your lesson now, Tap? You're so obsessed with me, God. All right, so anyway, the furnace exploded, and that was pretty exciting. Then Tap heads off to Jennings. But as soon as he runs through the door, what's the, a television? On the television, Jennings is there and he is protesting his innocence. He says, He was in the middle of the street, just came right out in front of me. I didn't mean to hurt him. You framed an innocent man. It's just filler. All right, so they start sending around, just kind of looking at things. Remember this from the third movie? Ah, pigs, that'll be a reference you remember. And then once they're done with that, they just kind of send you into the next room. And look at that. It's Jennings. And he is being held in a trap. We enter the room and there's a sword of Damocles swinging back and forth. What could this trap possibly be about? Detective Tap turns and looks at the television. As a forensic scientist, you knew just what to clean. But you couldn't clean the guilt from your soul. 
you heard it, right? You heard the little paw. You couldn't play in the <laughs> gill <laughs> from your soul. I don't know. Just what to clean, but you couldn't clean the guilt from your soul. Unless the officer you involved in your crime can hold the blade, we will see what you really have inside. What's that got to do with cleaning? All right, so how do we stop the sword of Damocles? There's a spinning thing over here and a spinning thing over there, and you have to connect them with gears. And that's it. But you got to do it four times. Oh, that's pretty good. That's our best puzzle yet. Although Jennings doesn't seem too bothered, to be honest. <laughs> the sword of Damocles stops swinging, and Jennings is released. In a fit of relief, he throws himself onto the floor. You know, I'm going to have a guess here. Go on. Instead of partnering with him and goes, come on, we're a dynamic duo that's going to solve puzzles together and get the jigsaw. Instead, he's going to go, I'm going to fight you for no reason. You fuck! You fucker! <laughs> oh. You know what, Tap? We're all here because of you. So save me the preaching, all right? I'm not dying. So you can catch the boogeyman. You deserve each other. You're welcome. Ah, oh, we're going faster now because it is quite tedious. Detective Tap goes over to a TV, which shows Melissa Singh, who is the widow of his old partner. Who is Tap's partner? Uh, Detective Stephen Singh, who died in the film. Oh, and he had a lovely wife, Melissa. It feels like you haven't played the game, Mark. <laughs> All right, well, for some reason, Melissa has been trapped, and she is loving it. So, Tap finds his way outside, and then someone <laughs> throws a Molotov cocktail at him, which he dodges. <laughs> Tap then makes it to a gravesite. He kills some men there. Then he goes to the grave of Stephen Singh. Uh, wait, why is he buried here at the insane asylum? Also, a better question. Why does he feel so terrible about the indirect, not even his fault, accidental death of his partner, Detective Singh, when he's killed like a hundred people in a more direct way since then? I mean, no, because he worked with him. Like, if I died, Mark, you'd be heartbroken, wouldn't you? All right, so there is Detective Tap, and he comes to another set of televisions. Then he goes through a series of ever more wacky obstacles to help Melissa Singh, whom he has a romantic interest with. Wouldn't that be the greatest twist of all? It was all a setup to get these two together. Now, my greatest trap of all, <laughs> marriage. <laughs> He carries on down the corridor, and there is a man who is blinking brightly. Why, what's on his hand? A bomb. Looks like, it's like a grenade in a case. <laughs> Some sort of new Apple watch. <laughs> you never appreciated... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens if you masturbate. You always jacked off with your left hand. Now it's in a box. <laughs> Uh, get it together, Mr. Branson. We are now at Melissa Singh, the love of my life. <gasps> oh, but she's been put in some sort of trap. <gasps> trap time! Yay! Oh. Jigsaw, tell us, what's the trap? It's an Iron Maiden of saw blades. To solve this one, Detective Tap, you're going to have to move this block around. Ah, one of my best ones yet. Hello, Melissa. It's time to wake up. What do you mean, wake up? She's... Sta was she sleep standing up? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I have to know who does the voice for this. Melissa. Condoned it. The, the game is... is Shadow Menace. Game is the Shadow Menace. Okay, so we managed to find the trailer for this movie, and you are about to see what the voice of Melissa looks like. Please be in another language. I'm just... I just want to be a gamer, Mom. <laughs> okay, guys. Ready? Ready. Oh, oh no! There I go, I'll keep playing. They're doing a cross between Ocean's Eleven and Dungeons Dragons, I think. Do you guys remember the story of the gamers that disappeared from their table 15 years ago? Yes! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can we do this as one of the next story modes? Yeah, holy shit! Which games do you remember forever? That's Melissa. That's Melissa. Go, Melissa, act your heart out. Which games do you remember forever? The ones where your character wins some imaginary gold? Or the ones where they grew into something greater than the stats? You're in what might be called 
an Iron Maiden. Move the metal cubes to the symbols and avoid the strikes. After Sid strikes, the device will snap shut and this place will be your doom. Okay, this is a pretty funny trap. I've got three solutions. All right, go on. Number one, this is just a chain of batteries. Mm. So you could just go and yank the cord out. Number two, you could very easily take that thing over there and shove that in the mechanism. Sure. Number three, the exit is right <laughs> there. <laughs> Detective Tap saves the day and he wins the love of Melissa and he turns to her and he says, Melissa, I, I... Melissa, listen, I'm going to be your new husband. Don't you touch me. Get away. This is all your fault. All because of you. Why won't you just leave me alone? Oh, not again, says Detective Tap. Well, let's at least get you out of here. So Detective Tap leads the way. They leave out the most obvious door, but Melissa is staying back. Then she turns around and goes, Ho 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 ho, not so fast, slick. I'm sorry, David. You deserve this. He said if I made it this far, I could choose to leave. I'm leaving, and I am... I'm not sorry. Goodbye. That's so crazy, Melissa. We should kiss. <laughs> Detective Tap quickly bounces back from the breakup. And he heads towards the Oak Ward. Uh, you know, it's just more traps and stuff. Don't worry about that. Uh, there's a crematory. Oh my god, I'm not reading through this. I'm not doing any more of this. You know what? I'm going to skip big chunks of this fucking game and see if I still understand what is happening by the end. Do you understand what's happening now? Yeah, I know what happened. Someone with no imagination whatsoever bought the license rights to the Saw franchise. All right, so we skip to the end of the game. <laughs> So, Detective Tap is there and he is standing in front of two doors and he must choose between them. Mr. Branson, please tell me what's behind each of the doors. What's behind freedom? In the freedom door, everyone, including Tap, gets set free, but Tap will never get the answers to all his questions. But in the truth door, Tap gets the answers to all his questions, but he has no guarantee that he's getting out of here alive. What would you choose, Mr. Branson? Ooh. I honestly think this point, this far in, mm. I would probably uninstall the game. <laughs> Let's start with freedom. So, after going through the freedom door, we immediately cut to Detective Tap back in his shitty apartment, and he has a gun on the table. My god. This is depressing, but it's gritty and realism. And then he just goes offline. Are you kidding me? This is the, that's the canon ending. That's the canon ending. Alternatively, the other ending. What happens if we go through the truth door? Ah, Detective Tap, chosen the truth door, I see. Well, now you're going to have to go through a gauntlet of other traps. I'll be honest, I thought you were going to pick the freedom door. Tap chases down Jigsaw. He smashes through a door, no warrant. He starts absolutely wailing on Jigsaw. But here's a twist that you wouldn't expect from the Saw franchise. Uh. That's not Jigsaw. Uh? That's Melissa! Get her! Melissa has a tape recorder and starts playing it out loud. Hello, Melissa. If you're hearing this, you survived your death. What Tap hears is this. Jigsaw kidnapped Melissa's son and blackmailed her into working for him to slow down Tap. But to make sure she couldn't tell Tap, he stitched her mouth shut. Oh my god. Is that, yep. That's it. And then she gets up and walks into a shotgun trap and dies just like her husband, Detective Singh, did. Oh. It's not really poetic, is it? Then what happens to Detective Tap? He loses it for some reason. He snaps and goes crazy. Wait, no, does he also disconnect from Minecraft, like in the Freedom one? No, he survives. So the- the How is that the bad ending? Because he goes insane and he's stuck in a mental asylum. He thinks he's in the traps, he's obsessed. Okay. Not every- not everything has a happy ending, Mark. <laughs> well, I can tell you one thing. Everyone lost. Alright, let's do Q&A. 
question mark? My first question is, if it's called Saw, what did he see? I, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I want to know, Saw the game. 2009. So there's a good chance that Todd Howard was influenced in some way by this game for Skyrim. Oh, they had Tobin Bell. They act, that's actually real Jigsaw. Oh. There you go. Oh, and they got Jen Taylor? So Amanda from Jigsaw is the voice of Katana. Katana? Cortana. Wait, 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 hold on. I think I've got another trap, Mr. Branson. <laughs> you're in the shower. Oh, yeah. And your your hair needs is real greasy and you need to wash it. Oh, only conditioner. Only conditioner. Yep. And it's not one of those two for one things. <sighs> oh, I got a scary one. Yeah. This is one that'll probably hit a lot of people close to home. Yep. You're washing your hair, but every time you put your hand through your hair, a little bit more hair comes out. <laughs> And you think, oh, that's probably going to come back in a couple of years, though. And then you, you plug it up with a drain with your foot. And then you start going, wait, how many hairs are there? There's hole. What's it? Would a key float in an acid? No. no. I... All right. Do we have any more thoughts on this game? It is very stupid. But if you liked it, I'm sure you're not wrong. Wrong. No. There is a right and a wrong answer. This is a bad game. It should be more like... um. Like Final Fantasy, where there's like combat and, and like, like turn based. Up. Yeah, that's so, yeah, good. Because yeah, yeah. if I, I feel like if I could quick scope Jigsaw, <laughs> I feel a lot more tense. <laughs> All right, everyone, that was a very spooky Halloween episode. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Watch out for Jigsaw. But if you do see him, just grab a doorstop, and you will be able to beat practically any trap. Inventing saw traps. Number one. What if you had to hammer yourself to wood? Oh yeah, that's quite good. Yeah, so there's like saws going off down here electric mm. saws or whatever i think saws and, is a little bit off brand and then there's like this plank of wood that's like rising it's so thick around that you, you can't could, grab ooh, it that's good and then so you have to hammer, hammer yourself, yourself to it, it. oh that's oh that's yucky i like that okay this is the multi-person trap this is a pretty small room there is a metal grate nothing but beans for dinner <laughs> Now, he must eat all of the beans, and there are a lot of beans. Are we talking a lot of beans, or are we talking a lot of beans? A lot of beans, and there is no ventilation in this room. <laughs> so, there's a wall, and he's on one side. This is tap? This is tap, and there is a hole at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm down. Well, what have you got? Hmm. And then, and then there's a key. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah.